Hey, what up, guys? I want to do a review for a movie I just checked out called Life and Death of a Porno Gang. Put out by Synapse Films, and they uh, this pretty much came out a year after a Serbian film came out. And this is, this was made in Serbia. Um, and they kind of wanted to capitalize on the success of the Serbian film, so they wanted to make an ultra uh, sexually kind of shocking film. Kind of like a Serbian film was, but it's done a little differently. And a general plot is this guy, he's like an amateur director, and his films just aren't doing good. And he wants to, uh, you know, no one's really paying attention to his films. And he ends up running into this porn director and, you know, working for him for a while. And he kind of started to do, like, his own artistic kind of thing to it. And it just isn't going as good as he wanted it, so... He kind of steals a bunch of money from him and ends up kind of doing this van and wants to start this like porno road show going to all these villages in serbia and all that and uh he basically runs into this dude who's like i want you to make snuff films we can make tons of money basically you know you could do your whole traveling porno show but i want you to kill people on camera and he ends up like running into people that are willing to die on camera to get money to his family and so there's certain aspects or scenarios like that now, um, to me, this doesn't even hold a candle to a Serbian film. I found this movie to be kind of monotonous and a little boring, to be honest. I didn't really find it shocking. I mean, there was some shocking moments. Uh, like, there's Felicio on a, uh, on a horse, or a donkey, I'm pretty sure it was. It, like, it's, there's a lot of scenes I forgot, and, uh, yeah, the movie just wasn't that good to me. I think it was just overhyped on how shocking it was, and I've watched a lot of, like, disturbing movies, and uh, it just didn't really do it for me. Now, someone who isn't too versed on like, disturbing cinema, you know, they'll probably pop it in and be pretty shocked. Um, but yeah, I've just seen too much where I think I'm jaded with this kind of film, and it just didn't do it for me. I'm not a big fan of this kind of shock value stuff. Like, I like it more horror and stuff, when it's shocking. Like, this whole sexual violence thing is just kind of overplayed to me. I think Serbian film did it best, because they added a lot of horror elements, too. Um, mind you, there are some cool scenes. Like, there's one scene where they're watching this snuff film of, like, these Al-Qaeda dudes, or they're from another country, and they're, like, kicking the severed head like a soccer ball. And, uh, you know, there's scenes like that that are kind of cool graphic-wise, but this movie's honestly a little too long, too. It's like five minutes shy of two hours, and it really didn't need to be that long. Uh, I probably won't watch this again. Like, if I, I don't really trade movies in anymore, because there really isn't a place to trade them in anymore. But if I was going to trade some in, this would probably be one I would just trade in, because I think it actually kind of sucks. Uh, it just didn't do it for me. I actually just thought it was a terrible movie. Like I said, there's very few and far between scenes that I thought were cool. But other than that, this is a complete bore fest to me. Um, but like I said, some people may find this shocking. I suggest you watch a trailer to this and kind of make up your mind if you want to see it or not. Um, I gotta say too that this uh, the movie doesn't really look good on Blu-ray either. And there is kind of a little description here where it's saying "Life and Death of a Porno Gang" was shot on digital video and processed with various techniques during editing, the film's presentation accurately reflects the quality of a master given to us. So I think Synapse knew that this doesn't really look good on Blu-ray, so they need to tell you that. Kind of like Slasher Video gives you a warning before their Blu-rays. But, um, so, you know, keep that in mind. If this is more expensive than the DVD, I'd just go for the DVD, to be honest. Um, now, there is a, a documentary on here that I didn't see called Made in Serbia. It's 101 minutes, and it's a uh, it's a feature length documentary on the Serbian adult entertainment industry. So that actually could be cool. I don't know if that's on the DVD because that is a 101 minute documentary on top of a two hour movie. So I don't I don't know if that's on the DVD, but that is actually pretty cool that it's like actually on the adult industry, um, making up feature at deleted scenes and a theatrical trailer. So. Okay. But yeah, this is a, uh, it is what it is. And it has a reversible cover that really is the same exact cover. There's just a little more kind of nudity on the bus, so you can barely see it. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. Um, yeah, I really don't recommend it, to be honest. If you want a better film, get, the, get a Serbian film. 
over this. I mean, and this is overpriced as hell. I could not find this under 20 bucks anywhere. Um, I got to find out Amazon for under 20 bucks. I think I finally bit the bullet and bought it for 20 bucks on a, a Diabolic DVD. And I wish I would have spent the money elsewhere. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on this. Anyways, guys, peace.